Hey there, good evening. How is everybody tonight? We have Gypsy. Oh, hey, Gypsy. Danny, hey, hello. Hope you guys are having a good evening. It's been a weird few days for me in terms of everything. I went to bed last night really, really early. That's why I didn't stream. Um, I went to take a nap at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I woke up at 6.15 this morning. So, I guess I needed, I guess I needed the sleep, right? Danny Thrasher says, my night is okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I slept like almost 13, 14 hours yesterday. Now, tonight, um, or tomorrow night, I will not be streaming. Uh, after work tomorrow, I'm going out of town uh, for the day. I'm going on a tour of uh, the Jack Daniels Distillery on Wednesday. So, I'll be leaving tomorrow night. So, no stream tomorrow night. But I should, I should be back on Wednesday night. Yeah, I've always wanted to go. I tried to go a couple years ago, uh, but they were closed for some reason, and I didn't get to, to go. I made the trip down there and ended up having nothing to do. But I'm going to make sh I made sure they're going to be open this time. My night has been boring. So there's nothing wrong with that. Boring nights are good. All right, let's get this going here. A boring night means that you don't have anything bad happening. That's the way I kind of look at it. So hang tight while I go ahead and get the game up and running. Alright, alright. So we're going to pick up right where we left off the other day, which was we were exploring Monk Harama, and we ended up in the Land of Dreams. And we found a couple smoking, pipe smoking dudes there. <laughs> Sounds like such a strange summary. And I feel like there's still something left to find, so we're going to take a look before we leave. So again, we're playing Wizardry 7, Crusaders of the Dark Savant, a direct sequel to Wizardry 6, which we played prior to this. We imported our end game from Wizardry 6 into this game. We find ourselves on a new planet called Lost Guardia, where we are trying to help the Dark Savant find a cosmic artifact. The only thing is, we're not sure if the Dark Savant is a good guy or a bad guy. He seems a little bit shady. And in fact, uh, all of the alliances we've made so far are questionable. Uh, we've sided ourselves with a, a group of alien creatures called the Terang, which are spider-like uh, humanoids, um, who again seem to be less than nice, um, have hired us to assassinate uh, an opposition general. And so as we've explored this planet, we realize there's a lot of factions at play, and I think ultimately we're going to have to determine where our allegiances lie. But for now, we are in the holy city of Monk Harama, uh, trying to go on a, a bit of a pilgrimage, I guess you could say. And we've ended up in this place. It's like a ladder, a maze of ladders. And we've been through most of it. But I just want to see what is left for us to uncover. And Danny Thrasher says they've been cutting my hours at work. I'm sorry to hear that. That's a oftentimes a, a first of the year thing. I know that they've done that to me in the past. They don't do it now. But just uh, just a word to the wise, I have an opening on my team and you're welcome to join. Uh, Alright. What are we doing here? So we are going to hit these guys with some blades. 
And I think Danny's going to magic missile these guys. Try to make get through this fight really quick. One fell asleep, but I think we can probably finish this out. All right, let's try to go up the ladder. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Before I leave the land of dreams, because there was one area that um, didn't seem to have anything in it. It was one of these downstairs areas. I don't think it was this. Dreamweaver. You know, I don't think these guys are um, undead, but I'm gonna try. Gypsy says, my internet is driving me nuts tonight. I'm sorry to hear that. There's nothing worse than an internet connection that isn't stable. It drives me crazy too, especially when I'm trying to watch something on streaming. This one was down. Okay, this is the one I took to get there, right? Okay. Or was it this one? I don't remember where I'm at. It's a maze. And this was the door out, so not this one. So back here. Is it this one? No, nope, that's where we were. So it's the one next to it. A nightmare. Sonic fires. Ooh, oh, that hurt. What a nasty spell. Please don't kill Danny. Thank you. Ooh, that was ugly. That was bad. That was bad. I didn't like that at all. Let's get some healing in here. Claire is almost dead. We'll heal wounds on Claire. Danny will go ahead and throw another fireball at this thing. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. So I'm going to save. We're going to try to rest. Let's do a little manual healing here. Oh, Lulu needs a top off here. Heal wounds at level four on Sato. 
do a level three on Danny, and that should be good enough to get us through for now. So this is just another room. I want to get back to here because I want to say there. The sense of dread and foreboding comes over you to descend into the room, a sensation distinct from that of the palace. Sinister presence, something dark and dangerous and deadly. Your thoughts tell you to leave this place, but something here seems to be drawing you in, enticing you to stay. So this is... Oh. Okay, the last time I was here, this door was not here. But I remember what they, they said at the beginning. Beware the black door. Remember that? The door is ebony black, cold and unholy, and from it emanates an aura of doom. You feel it pulling you, urging you to pass through. So what do we do? Do we listen to the monk that said don't go through the door? Or do we go through the door? So I think we'll do both, right? I'm going to go ahead and I save the game. Let's put on some utility spells here and let's see what happens if we go through the door. You step into oblivion. You are falling. 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 Then you are no longer falling. All is quiet and black. Though you can feel a solid surface beneath your feet, you see nothing and all around you presses the deep void. A vision of burning flames appears in the distance. You draw closer to the fiery blaze. You see there is something burning in the flames. It is you. The fire swells and suddenly you are surrounded by faces from your past. Faces of those you have loved and slain. Their skin bubbles and their eyeballs swell and then explode as they scream. And you watch as they turn into a host of black and charred corpses. Their screams become a mad cackling, and as they crumble into dust, you see arise within the flames huge buildings and structures, and you sense that the structures mean something important, but watch as they too crack and fall into the burning inferno. The flame congeals into a flaming ball, and from its smoke and ash forms a sphere of spinning firmament which begins to orbit around the burning mother, and you look upon the sphere as its surface transforms, blossoming in infinite variety of features, and soon there are other spheres, and then behind them still others, and a thousand suns dot the black sky, a million planets swarm past you, racing through the void, and time itself seems to accelerate as you witness the birth and demise of nations and whole worlds. You gaze upon the evolution of life as it streams through the galaxies, birthing and growing, warring and dying, and soon the shapes become a blur until they finally collide in a tremendous explosion, and time itself becomes exhausted and collapses. And then all is still and black again. Well, that was deep, right? So wait a minute. I'm just going through all this again? So how do we get out of here? Hmm. All right, so when we were in the land of dreams, we got a smoking pipe. And this right here. Pipe and, okay. So I put the pastille in the pipe. Doesn't seem to do anything though. Let's try to use it here. Who did I give that to?
there we go okay you puff on the pipe and this is by magic the mix starts to smoke puff puff it doesn't appear to, to be having much effect if <laughs> not too much oh <laughs> okay so you're getting high so what now do I walk around that is something you do not recognize something new it emerges from the flames as the fire diminishes it is something beautiful moving with perfect grace it appears before you oh my I am the spirit of life and the spirit that unites all creation and destruction your eyes have beheld the magnificence that is life and the emptiness that is non-life and this is no mortal mind and this no mortal mind was meant to hold for this is the seed that is the root and heart and mind of all living things be not afraid for you have earned the right to choose for yourself and the choices matter little for aught else for though it is through your acts and the acts of all life that the universe breathes it is the breathing itself that is the necessary life-giving force now you may choose a path of divine power to assist you will you take the sword the staff the gown the ring or the stone I don't know the answer so it sounds like I'm about to get a gift and I get to choose which gift which is the best choice it's been so long since I've played this game I don't recall so I'm gonna take suggestions if you were posed with this question what would you choose the sword staff gown ring or stone I'll give the chat a minute. The sword, the staff, the gown, the ring, or the stone. So first first you know instinct would be the sword for sure let's go ahead and take a sword that will do you know damage to enemies but then you've got the staff which which sounds like you know magic ring or the stone gypsy says take the staff let's go let's go that route let's see what happens take the staff so be it trevi got an item trevi increased intelligence Kyler increased. Oh, everybody's intelligence went up. You have seen the miraculous, but soon shall you open your eyes and remember no longer. For such is the nature of mortal mind to forget so that it may see again. This is why everything dies, to be born anew in each blink of an eye, in each life of a man, in each birth of the cosmos. Fear not that you forget. It is each new moment of life that you should remember. Ooh, karma went up too. You stand in a pleasant courtyard, the air smells fresh, and the playful sounds of practicing monks sing in the breeze as they move and frolic in the open grass. Soon, one of the young monks sees you and gives a slight cry, pointing in your direction. All the other monks stop and turn to look, and after a brief pause, wildly scramble into the ancient dojo behind them. So let's see what item Trevi got. The Staff of Twelve Stars. Let's give that to Danny, since Danny is our staff wielder. Oh, it's cursed. Oh, fantastic. Invoke its special power. So it's a cursed item, but maybe not a bad thing. Cursed just means you can't take it off. So we're in a courtyard here. Zenzang, School of Five Flowers. Entering the dojo, you look upon the wide faces of the eager monk students who seem quite curious about your appearance. You hear a loud hand clap. In the blink of an eye or two, the young disciples make their best attempt at disappearing into the nooks and crevices of the house, and with the exception of an errant foot or a portion of a robe sticking out here and there, 
and for the few occasional giggles, you could almost be fooled into thinking there was some small chance the dojo might be empty. But to make up for the obvious deficiencies in the obs <laughs> obfuscatory, uh, how do we say that? Obfusc I don't even know that word. In the poor efforts of the students, the masters of the house appear so suddenly at your face that you decide to believe he came out of thin air rather than to consider the possibility that anyone could really move that fast. Obscoffiate, obscoffiary. Slay not thee that cannot hear. I know the answer. Be thankful ye that hath an ear. We've seen this uh, phrase all over uh, the city. I see you are learning well the virtuous ways of the holy path. I have been expecting you. Have you obtained the holy work? Have I obtained the holy work? I'd say no. Careful, lest thy failure become a habit. Go now, find the holy work, and do not return until thy task is done. Have you found the holy work? So I have not found the holy work. We shall try to figure out where that is. There's a new door here. Hidden door. Oh. All right. So let's go ask some friendly monks that we know about the holy work. Now that we've practiced in the wading pool, I wonder if I could swim this. Let's try it. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. Not quite. Oh, who died? Three died trying to get here. Standing at the statue, it appears more jovial than before. Stone looks fresh as if it was carved only yesterday. I have a thick layer of rust. Been here a long time. Gazing up into the face of the majestic figure, you detect a faint smile, and its eyes seem almost to twinkle. So, that's great. But I lost three party members trying to swim here. So, quit no save. Load save game. So, I'm going to go back to the wading pool. I want to see if we can up that swimming skill just a little bit more before we try this again. In the distance you hear a horrid moaning. It is drawing near. It's horrible, ghastly. It's... Brother to show her. The wailing and somewhat inebriated monk swaggers up. Maybe we can ask him about the holy work. Oh my word. Let's talk. Holy work. It must be kept safe from the blasphemous maggots of the Dane. May a plague of rabid cows vomit upon their lands. Wow. The blasphemous scorn of the Dane may their souls burn forever. Where is the holy work? Okay. Goodbye. Must be kept safe. So there's the waiting area, the Polar Monk Society. So I'm going to spend a couple rounds here practicing swimming.
let's do this maybe three or four times. I'm gonna rest up in between. A little time consuming, but there's something to that statue here. before we have to heal again. Let me see what the skills are now as far as swimming goes. His swimming is 18. Swimming is 16. Seventeen. Seventeen. Fourteen. So let's do a couple more rounds of swimming, swim training. Try to get everybody up to around 20 maybe. Uh-oh. Ratkin Thieves and Gorn Rangers and half the party's asleep. Fantastic. Let's see what we can do here. Who's awake? Lulu. Alright, so Lulu is going to try to... Put the Gorn to sleep, or the Ratkin to sleep, and Shadow will try to get rid of the Gorn. Let's see what happens. Alright, so Claire's awoken, so we have a little more shot at this. Let's see. Lulu. Let's try this chromatic liar here. And Sato's going to breathe on these three. Let's see what we can do. Irritated. Okay. And so everybody's awake now. So we should make short work of this. I think the rats are still asleep. Oh, that was a very lucky, lucky round. Found a sword, huh? Trivia will take that. Let's take a quick look at that sword, see what it is. A base lord. stamina up here. We'll do some spell healing.
think we'll do one, maybe two more swimming uh, practices here. to swim to the statue again. And what is our swimming skill up to now? 19. So maybe a few more rounds. I really want to try to get everybody up to 20 before I try to swim to that statue. First time in chat. Cigar Thrall said, Hello, did you find the starter dungeon? You know, we have not. I've not gone back to uh, to New City uh, to look for it. I, I remember, I think I remember that it was west of New City, out in the woods. Uh, but again, it's been quite a while since I've played, and I could be very wrong. I'd like to find it just for the sake of completion, even though I know it's not necessary when I've imported a game. I seem to remember a uh, mummy in the dungeon, maybe. So when we make our way back to New City, it might be something I try to find just again, just for the sake of being thorough. give it another shot now. Let's save and we'll rest. Oops, not quit. Save and resume. Cigar Thrall says, think, follow the left. I happen to start replaying this today myself. So, when you played this today, did you start a fresh game or did you import from Cosmic Forge? How did you, uh, what's your story with it? These characters were all imported from uh, Wizardry 6, and when we started uh, this playthrough, they uh, started just outside of Nyctalinth, aligned with the terrain. Fresh. Never played 6. So they're very similar in some regards. Uh, there's a lot more polish on this game, though, I'll say that. But in a way, I kind of like the retro look of uh, Wizardry 6. I like the old CGA graphics. But, I mean, there's no doubt that this just looks better. All right, let's try that again. I played Wizardry 1 back in the day on the Apple IIe. That is the best way to play Proving Grounds of the Mad Overlord. The Apple II is the original platform for the game. I first experienced Wizardry 1 back on a um, Macintosh, uh, the black and white Mac from uh, 85, I think. Um, it was my first encounter with the game. And then, of course, I played on the NES for many years, and then again on the PC. All right, 
So we're going to rest up. And we're going to try this swim. It's only two spaces, so it shouldn't be that difficult, I would think. But hopefully we can swim to this island without anybody dying. Everybody topped off. I don't think so. Okay. Just finished the remake yesterday. It was good. Yes. The remake is absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the first things I streamed on this channel, actually, lead, that's what kind of what led us to play uh, Wizardry 6 and 7, was people liked uh, the Proving Ground remake oh. so much. Golly. Still. Claire. Poor Claire. All right, so one more time, guys. I'm not. I really don't want to lose Claire to a uh, a drown drowning incident. What is Claire's swimming skill? Nineteen. Claire shouldn't have died. Let's just try it again. I think maybe some of it's luck of the draw. There we go. All right. That's better. That's more like it. Let's rest that stamina up. I see that statue there and it's just killing me. Alright, let's see what this thing does. Here we are. Standing at the statue, it appears more jovial than before. The stone looks fresh, as if it were carved only yesterday, although a thick layer of rust around its base suggests it has been here a long time. Gazing up into the face of the majestic figure, you detect a faint smile, and its eyes seem to almost twinkle. Trevi detects something. Let's search. It's a Dane. Arms waving high above his head, vociferously spewing a barrage of animated verbiage, the Priest of Dane hones in on your party. Cigar Thrall says, I played this when it came out, but never completed it. I'm determined to finish it this go-round. Oh, it's great. You've got to got to uh, finish. Um, it also imports into Wizardry 8, too. The Dane says, we embark on the last days of the world. His name is Kynas Turan. Hmm. Talk. Hello. Greetings, brethren. Who are you? I am he called Kymus Turan, deliverer of the holy sword, holy word of Dane. Dane. We shall be victorious. Holy word. Repent, O ye sinners. Repent thy evil and wicked ways before the end. The end. Repent. Okay. What do you do? I am he called Kymus Turin, deliverer of the holy word of the Dane. Try my favorite word, rumors. Will you pay? Yes. I heard a rumor about Teshober. Teshober. We seek to still the tongue of the drunken evil Kerr. Monk. The monk are unholy defilers. Holy work. To ask this guy. Let not the righteous set foot in that place of evil. Well, you know, you're here. May the guiding light protect thee. What does he have to trade? Aromatic salts, dragon's teeth, resurrect, rest full. Nothing that we can afford, really.
So the reason this lore is uh, helpful is because it gives you an idea of the whereabouts of key NPCs. All right, so let's leave. All right, so that encounter, by the way, was just random. It hit before the search. Scraping off the thick rust, you unearth a metal plate at the foot of the, st foot of the statue engraved as follows. Builder of the Temple. Builder of the Temple. Builder of the Temple. So what am I to do here, I wonder? Now we have to swim away from here without dying. So maybe we should ask the monks about the builder of the temple. Everybody's rested. Let's try to swim. Oh, oh and we lost Lulu. Let's reload. Yes, I'm going to save scum it. Right. Just going to rest till we get the stamina back up. These urns, of course. These urns, of course, have are a puzzle of some sort. Oh, let's see. Is there an, enca an encounter in here? I don't recall. So many things, so many things to do. Vampire rooks. Did we not go through here? We have not. A handful of dark forest monks, probably. So, Lulu will try to put the second group to sleep here. Sato will cast blades on this back group. And Danny's going to fireball the middle group at level 5. Let's see what we can do. Tough. These guys are tough. Wow, 
way tougher than expected. Monk ninjas, that's why those are so tough. Okay, so we're going to shift gears here. Trevi and Kyle are going to focus on the Dark Forest monks. Claire is two. Now Lulu is going to try to put these ninjas to sleep. Sato is actually going to cast a healing spell on Claire. And for these ninjas, Danny's going to hit another fireball at them. This time we're going to go level six because they don't fool around. And it fizzled. Fantastic. One fell asleep. Ooh, they hit hard. Man, that's bad news right there. What an unfortunate encounter. Alright, we're going to focus everything on the monk ninjas here. Back up. Lulu's going to use the chromatic leer. Sato's going to blades. And since Fireball didn't work, we're going to Magic Missile at level 4. One down. Blades did not hit. Two down. Blinding Flash. We have a handful of characters blinded and irritated. Alright, but the Monk Ninjas are gone. So we can finish these Dark Forest Monks off pretty easily, I think. Understand we're irritated. There we go. Nice experience point haul there. Let's save and resume. We're going to try to rest through these negative status effects. I think this is the path out of town. Yeah, looks like it. So, Monk Rama, we're not finished here by any means. I don't know what to do with the builder there. I think on the other side is a monk, right? So let's ask him about the holy work. At least he used to be here. Or maybe he went away. Okay. So either way, Cigar Thrills here has reminded me about the starter dungeon. So we're going to make our way back to New City. So this is the the ochre area. We'll check that out next. Let's make our way back to New City and let's just see if we can find the 
starter area. I know, the starter dungeon I know exists. Back in New City. A lot of unopened doors here, which we may explore a bit next time. And here's the path leading out, back to the starter area. Here's a road we did not explore. I know we said we were going to come back to New City here and explore the surrounding area. I think we'll do that a bit before we end the stream tonight. At least we conquered that land of dreams. For whatever that was worth. Got some stat increases from it. We learned about the holy work. Just not quite sure what to do. Here we are. This is it, guys. This is the starter dungeon. And it, we were wondering all through here last time, but it was right on our noses. The acrid smell of staleness bites your nostrils as you enter the rank and dusty chamber, and you surmise that the area was abandoned quite some time ago. Other than the occasional soft pitter-patter of little scampering feet, you hear nothing at all which breaks the gloomy silence. So keep in mind, we're going to be way overpowered for this, this dungeon at this point, so there's probably not going to be very much challenge here. But at the same time, we may find some, some helpful treasure. these are the monsters that you're intended to encounter at level one and as you can see we're just cutting right through them approaching the trickling fountain you are pleasantly surprised to find that the water still runs fresh and sweet so I think it's a healing fountain right who will drink yep We'll drink it up. Get everything topped off. There we are. That's nice. There's a healing fountain here. What's down this way? Enjoy your narration of the gameplay. It allows me to work and follow your game. I appreciate that. I try to do that other than just sit here and be completely quiet. So another bitter bug here. Just blow right through the sky. So if you're curious about Wizardry 6, um, if you go to my YouTube channel, same name, Old Game Hermit, the entire uh, Twitch playthrough of Wizardry 6 is available for streaming um, on YouTube. I always take the Twitch streams and we edit them for time and uh, post those to YouTube later for later viewing. So I have a key. I have an iron key. I don't know if that key will work here. Let's try it. No effect. That's where I found you. Oh, okay, got you. Well, thanks for tuning in for the live stream. It's always fun. The more the merrier.
you know, as much as I appreciate the open world aspect of uh, Wizardry 7, it's just something about the dungeons that, that get me. I love the dungeon crawl. And I think the next game that we play on stream, before we start Wizardry 8, will be a more traditional dungeon crawl something. One of my viewers keeps suggesting um, Stranger of Sword City, which is a good, good option. I've only got the original version. I want that revisited version that um, seems to be a bit of a refresh. Creeping cruds, model cruds. Nasty, nasty. So this feels feels too easy. Of course, I wish we had found this the first night. I knew it existed. I remembered that, but I couldn't remember ex the exact location. There's the creeping crowds. In the corner, you spot a pile of old, rotted rags lying in a heap. So not this corner. Let's check this corner. Sifting through the rags, you uncover the remains of whatever it was that was wearing the clothing, now turning to rot. Just as you start to turn away from the well-decayed corpse, you spy an old worn parchment still clutched within its bony fingers. Found a parchment. Let's see what it is. Read. Let's read the parchment. The old parchment reads, if you don't want to lose it, cover it with palooks. Luke's Armory Mail and Fine Leathers located in New City. So I remember this. Um, this parchment is here for a reason. It, it's meaningless to us at this point, but this is the item that, for a new player, would sort of guide them to New City. Um, the first time you, you attempt to enter New City, you're stopped by guards, and uh, they ask what business have you in New City, and if you found this parchment, you would say palooks, and they'll let you into the city. Of course, for us, where we started in another area, we teleported into New City um, from the Terang uh, base, so that was a non-issue for this party. here. Two blackbirds. Birds in a dungeon, huh? I don't know about it. Interesting. Alright guys, so let's figure out how to open this door. Somewhere in the dungeon is the answer. Let's go ahead and put Detect Secret on. Let's keep an eye out for it. Somewhere. Is it down here? I really would think it would be here. Nothing's going off, though. Oh, 
there we are. There's a button. The air inside the secreted passage is drier than you would have suspected, an indication that it has remained undiscovered for many years. So Garth says, the D&D game were good dungeon crawls. I, the Beholder, was kind of like this. Yes. Yeah, I see those games. I've never actually played any of the gold box games. Um, oh, a treasure chest. But I, I've seen them uh, for sale from time to time, and they are on my list of games to grab the next time they're deeply discounted. I don't know how, you know, I've made it this long and never played one of those games. But there's so many of them. And of course, I love all things D&D. The last D&D release, the uh, Deck of Many Things, was a fantastic uh, product. Um, it's a little bit pricey. It was 100 bucks, but it's a fantastic product all the way around. Lulu is going to try to disarm. So, judging from the inspection, we know that something's in the second slot there. It could be poison darts. It has to be poison darts. There we go. I found a sword, I found an armor, and a key, and another key. Ooh, look at that armor. I like that. Let's take the sword, too. Lulu's going to take the key. One of these keys is bound to be the key to this door. So what kind of armor do we have here? He does not know. Let's give it to Claire for inspection. Tarnished mail. What are we wearing? No mail, so it's better than nothing. What kind of sword is it? We don't know. Claire will tell us that too. Tarnished sword. I don't think it's as good as the broad sword that we're currently carrying. Another iron key and an old gate key. So we'll keep that in swag, and I bet you that is indeed the key for this gate. Come on. Very sensitive, that button. So let's open the old gate. First, let's go over here and heal at the fountain. I think I remember what's behind the gate. small group of bitter bugs should pose no challenge at all. And down we go. Into the second floor of the dungeon. I like the way you can see the rats in the background. A raven.
Okay. Anything in this room? Oh, yes, there's another passage. This dungeon's a bit larger than I remember it being. seem to be empty. Detect secret didn't go off. A bigger fight this time. I'm going to put the second group to sleep. I think Saddle will breathe on them and I think Danny's just going to rest this one out. Oh no. Danny actually did combat with that long staff. It's fantastic. The cursed staff. So we're left with one bird who is asleep in midair. Which is a cool trick. Looks like there's nothing here, but there's an empty spot right here, and I'm sure there's got to be something in this room. Perhaps I'm wrong. It's a small encounter almost every step of the way. Notice we've upgraded from bitter bugs to stag weevils. So for a brand new party. The dungeon does get progressively more difficult. New players are on their first handful of levels here. A long hallway. slowly approaching the end here. We have Horror of Rasep Ratep behind a gate. You pause for a moment to reflect upon the wisdom that disturbing whatever is in that gate. <laughs> and here's the switch. So naturally, anytime we see a gated room that titles a, a horror, that's definitely the place you want to go, right? We're going to rest up first. And I really don't think we'll need it just because we are so overpowered, but we will go ahead and turn on Enchanted Blade. A sudden flash of fire arises from the sconces along the walls. You enter the chamber and dancing in the flicker of their candlelight, you watch as a shadowy form emerges from the depths of the smoky, bubbling pool. 
and it is the Mummy Ra Sepratep with three Night Rooks. So we're going to go ahead and put the melee characters on Ra Sepratep here. Lulu is going to try to put the Rooks to sleep with a Poet's Loot. Sato is going to breathe on them and Danny's going to just use a low level magic missile on these guys. Let's see what happens. Can we do it in one round? That's the question. Magic missile on the Night Rook. One down. Two down. Three down. The Rooks are down. Claire hits for Sepratep. Twice. 18 total. Trevi hits for seven. Hits for nine. Kyler hits for five. And Reseptep is dead. So it wasn't that bad when you're this this level. But obviously this was the boss of the starter dungeon. And we did level up. We'll take that. So swimming is 24. I think we're, we're good there. Maybe one more point. We'll put the rest in oratory. Theology. And then the rest in diplomacy. Learn a new spell. Armor plate. Bless. And some water to level up swimming. Conjuration. Whirlwind. Stamina. Superman. Paralyzed. Slow. Let's go ahead and learn armor plate. The skeleton ghoul now splintered into hundreds of tiny bones. You nonetheless feel uneasy about the mystical chamber. and could almost swear the little ivory fragments were slowly inching their way back into the pool. So, Sagarth says, a good pool in order to practice your swimming. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That stamina drain, though. have a chest here. Oh, and we triggered a trap. Wow. Crazy. Alright, so we have a wand. We have a potion. Reagent. scroll, a book, and an amulet. So let's inspect this stuff. Potion. What kind of amulet is it? Amulet of life. Always good to have. I'm not sure about the reagent. Not sure about the scroll. And we're not sure about the book. So let's cast some spells. Identify. Manta roots. Okay. Magic missile scroll. Alright. And book of direction. So we'll use that. Describe that spell. I'm not eligible. Who is? Danny is, right? I think we have direction. Do we not? What do we do now? Alright. Some water to level up swimming. Yeah, indeed. Re-entering the chamber, you notice that most of the bone fragments have disappeared. Uh-oh. As you start to leave the crypt you delivered, they step out of your way to grind a small remaining finger chip into the floor. So that is the starter dungeon. And this is a good place to end the stream tonight. Um, we'll make our way out of here and when we start back tomorrow night we have some decisions to make so we're obviously not finished with Makarama but have I done everything that I can do there so far that's the question and that's what you that's what we don't know because a lot of these places in this game we're going to revisit multiple times we've accomplished a lot there 
but I, no way are we finished. But perhaps it's time to go somewhere else first. That's the thing. Um, so I'll think about it. And then tomorrow we'll either go back to Monkarama and see if we can find anything else there. Or maybe we might go forward into the, uh, the ochre area and see what, what waits us there. But anyways, thanks for, for tuning in. And, and Chagar, thanks for joining us tonight. I appreciate the company. And tomorrow when we play, we will explore something different or we'll finish out Monkarama. We'll just have to wait and see. But thanks again, and I'll be back tomorrow night with another stream. Have a good evening.